Darine. Yes, yes. I hear yes. you, but I don't see you. Okay. And Darine okay. is also, I'm giving everybody um, a quick history lesson on Armenia. I said, you're also Armenian. And I was telling them that <laughs> Armenia is the first official Christian country of the world. Right? Right. Right, right. Right. Uh, I don't think it makes huge difference anyway. <laughs> uh, I guess my camera is not in the best condition, but this is all. I That's, couldn't do any better. Sorry. We do what we can. Now, you were on once before, and Garine returns after taking a Wim Hof, I don't know if it's a seminar or a Wim Hof uh Week long uh, class. It was called summer, summer, summer expedition. That's what we called it because it was combining everything. Mm -hmm. uh, there was seminars, it was exercises, it was field trips all together. So it was, uh, it was a week long summer expedition, and that, that's exactly the name that fits. And now, for those of you who don't know, I think Wim Hof is named after the guy who invented the breathing technique. Correct. Or can you give us a real quick well lesson on what well, Wim, Hof know Wim Hof is? That's yeah, that's the actual name of the person who invented this breathing technique that helps to uh, perform. Uh, uh, your body is capable of doing things that the first few years, no scientists, no doctors were accepting it. They were saying you are just abnormal it's impossible human body cannot perform such a things he like has uh, i don't know how many exactly he has a few records in guinness book hmm. one of records is let's say he swimmed under the ice um like ice cold water under the actual ice without ex oxygen uh, a link of football field wow. and came out without having any issues Another, he was hanging, I'm very bad with numbers, but he hanged in a very cold, negative uh, temperature, hang on one finger for quite a long time. So he performs things that are uh, considered impossible for human body to do, uh, but the guy was doing it. Uh, so the first reaction of doctors and scientists who kind of, you know, know what's going on and what not, know what possible or impossible, they would just tell him that, Okay, you do it. Okay, you're in a book of, uh, you know, Guinness records, but you're just abnormal. You, mm -hmm. It's not normal human ability. And he was claiming that it's a result of the uh, deliberate training that he's going through. And anyone can do that if they just get trained. Right. So uh, he ended up having 12 people. I believe that's the number scientifically necessary to prove that there is a training, such a training. And everybody performed very similar results. So science had to uh, admit the fact that it's a training. At this point, in some actually uh, uh, school books, there is a page. Wim Hof, it's the name of the person. It's his actual name. His name is Wim and last name is Hof. Mm. And he's from Holland. Uh, so um, now he has uh, his page, his nickname is Iceman because it's a combination of certain breathing techniques with, uh, with cold water, ice cold water, really cold water. And then um, you, you end up being capable to control your autonomic nerve system, in fact, which sounds very impossible, but it's true. Uh, so but the sad part about what, what I feel a little sad about when people talk about Wim Hof, they just talk about this um, superhuman abilities of body, but that's, that's kind of side effect. What was the major thing he's claiming? And the reason I started to do his breathing seven years ago, the, he talks spirit when he does the breathing and then combines it with the cold water. He says that it helps you to, it gives you access to the field of the spirit, of energy, of God, whatever you want to call. He usually, most of the time he uses the word light and, and love. That's the word he uses more. And when you're in that field, 
yes, you train yourself physically. Of course, he does a lot of exercises and stuff. But still, unless you're in that field of high vibration with the light and, 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 and a spirit, you can't really perform those kind of abilities. So there is a lot of uh, um, emotional and spiritual aligning happening as the training happens. Because without that alignment, there is no way you can, like, like I'm a regular person and I ended up doing 15 minutes lying down with not only me, it was 125 people for the summer uh, retreat. And uh, all of us, of course, because, you know, you pay, you, you go to see how far you can push your limits and you do it. We end up being three days, four days in a row, lying down in ice cold water for 15 minutes. But of course, you have coaches around you. They watch you because those are really extreme things to do. Uh, and then you end up getting out. You're feeling totally frozen. But there are certain movements that you need to know how to do. So you get You're freezing. kind of, you know, lead. I can see you have a chin. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this okay. Is the and anyways, connection I have. That's um, okay. And I sorry. wanted to, I wanted to stop you there. Um, so my understanding, when you're doing this breathing, you're connecting with source. I think that's what you're right. saying. And when you're connected yes. to source, you're able to do all this miraculous things that the body normally wouldn't be thought of doing. So when you're doing this personally, Absolutely, yes. What is your experience of connecting to source? Do you feel like you've connected to source when doing this breathing? And if so, oh, what, yeah. what do you uh, absolutely. experience? Absolutely, yes. Well, if, if someone wants to know more details, I will have on my YouTube channel, uh, which uh, the name of my YouTube channel is I See You, as I See You. Mm -hmm. And uh, you better enter with my name, Karine Arshakyan, so you will see some video materials that I took uh, during this uh, summer um, expedition. Um, I guess I'm freezing. Yeah. The internet connection <laughs> is not good. Sorry. You're frozen. It's okay. Yeah. Can, can okay, you, but can you, you can't. Hear me? I got you back now. You can't give us even just one little okay. sliver of what you, what you experience. Like, do you see when you're in a you close your eyes when you're breathing and see the light or what do you what what do you feel at certain at certain point at, at certain point uh, there is a feeling that you leave your body you leave your body and you go to different places and you feel very light and you come back very very charged it's very hard to say for how long you actually leave but it's not happening uh, with everyone, and it's not that everyone is experiencing the same thing. Everyone experiencing it differently. But he had one exercise. It was surprise. He told everyone what to do. He showed it with his uh, at, uh, coaches first. So you just breathe. You don't even even cup of water doesn't get involved in that. Just breathing. You breathe certain way. Just literally three thirty times. It wasn't even. 10, 15 times, and then you hold your breath, and then you push that pressure of the uh, air you have in your lungs. You create a pressure that gets to your pineal glands, mm -hmm. and then there is certain motions you do, and mm -hmm. you end up just, uh, someone needs to be there to make sure you're, you're gonna not fall down because you get to different dimensions. Right. Uh, your body just lies down there. It sounds like that you're, and it sounds like just, you're creating that you're going, you're, it sounds like you're doing a Kundalini type of breathing exercises, uh, exercise. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. But there is cold water involved with that. He's, he's well known with his using uh, ice cold water. So what happened in my case, I just realized that um, basically when we went first day, he announced that the plan is no plan. That's what we heard. And it wasn't feeling very comfortable because like you came to experience something. Turns out it was done purposely because every God's day out of six days, for, well, actually five days, full five days, we were doing something that was pushing our limits to extend that we would never do it without being in that groups. 
uh, well, this cold, ice cold water was there every day, 15 minutes in ice cold water. Uh, let's say my husband never even was touching the ice before, mm. but we started to practice a few years ago uh, with my husband. So we had experience. Most of the people who came to this retreat, they had some experience. No one came uh, out of nowhere. Uh, but then my husband couldn't even imagine touching the ice. He ended up being in ice for 15 minutes. He came out. And then he did what necessary to do to put your uh, body's temperature back. And we all were fine. And there was a guy actually uh, that he had paralyzed one part of his body when he was younger. And doctors would tell him that by uh, the time you're 35, you will be in a wheelchair. He was going to the doctors, taking medication. His name is Angela. And he, he promised that he's going to give an interview. We're going to be on Zoom, uh, I believe, on Monday. Right. So that's going to be on my YouTube channel, too. Awesome. So the guy started to first, he realized that medication doesn't help. Of course, he didn't want to end up being in a wheelchair. He started to watch his food first uh, a few years ago. I didn't ask him a lot of questions because I want the interview to be alive. But I know that he had problems with his motions then he started to eat uh, properly you know um, organic food and stuff then he uh, became familiar with Wim Hof method and he started to do breathing with cold water well guess what guy came he was totally healthy no paralyzed parts of body anymore and he actually having his own practice because people around him knew that this guy was kind of handicapped and now he's healthy so He's having his own practice now, helping people to deal with illnesses. That's awesome. Okay, um, I have to run, Garine. I've got to get to the next person. But before we go, what is your YouTube channel again? So people, if they want, can find that video. So it's supposed to be my name because it turns out there is a lot of ICU channels, which I didn't know. I is like I see you. I meant like I see you with my heart. That's right. how I. That's why I called it. Right. But it has to come with my name, Karine mm -hmm. Ashakan, which is K A R I N E, and last name is A R S H A K Y A N. Right. So you will see channel with all this video information about Wim Hof. I took a lot of videos there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have interview with uh, um, Angelo, who actually well, that was miraculous, miraculous healing. You can consider, but the guy was doing uh, very consistently breathing and cold water and, you know, right nutrition. Right. Why, so, yes. Why don't you do this? Um, why don't you, in the chat right now, put a link to your YouTube channel that make it easier for people to find? Okay. As well as you should join the Discord okay. group, which is free to do. And um, why don't you leave a link to your channel there? All right. Discord group? I didn't know what is that. What, what, um, the so that Discord group? is kind of like Facebook, but different. You're welcome to join. It's totally free. You go, you set up your own profile. Um, it was originally oh, created. Okay. And then you in my in my description right now, there's a link to join my personal rooms. It's kind of like okay. chat rooms, but you can post video, you can video chat, audio chat, you can do whatever you want there. And you're welcome to go okay, there and thank point, you. Point your, point, post your links. I will. Perfect. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, Garine. Thank you so thank much you. for um, coming coming back and sharing with us. It was great seeing you again. And um, stop you. by again. Thank Don't you be for a having me. Stranger. Anytime I have anything supernatural, I will let you know. Great. All right. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you too.